What is up, you guys? My name is Anton, and I do college football videos with the Miami Hurricanes in focus. And yeah, this is the next part of our series right before the Miami Florida Gators game. You're going to have two more videos as well. If you haven't seen them, check the cards up over here in the description down below. Got to check them out. But we're talking about who are the three guys to watch for in this game. Now, disclaimer, this is Anton's three guys to watch. This is Anton's who's, yes, a Miami fan, okay? Not a Florida fan. So I'm not putting any Florida Gators players in this one, okay? And it's not because I'm not saying y'all don't have any players. I'm talking about Miami fans, who they got to watch. And in this perspective of this is the guy that we did not expect maybe as much to be an MVP candidate, or this guy's going to momentum changer player. This, if he does not do his position well, or does do his position well, or exceeds well and just great, this is a win for Miami. So these are three breakout candidates that I just picked out, and I think our defense is pretty solid. I think we all know that. Everybody knows our defensive line is going to do the job that it's got to do, along with our linebackers. Now, secondary, we don't know. My guy, Gerben Hall. Gerben Hall is going to have... A long day if he doesn't do his job well. In fact, the whole secondary is. Why? I'm not going to name specific names, but Florida Gators wide receiver core is very good. I mean, three guys on there are just studs. Studs. And any team in NCAA football would want to have them on their squad, okay? So there's no denying of talent there, and these guys are going to be attacked because the Florida Gators knows that these guys don't have as much experience on the secondary. And we got to attack him. But Gervin Hall, a highly touted prospect, which y'all haven't heard in the previous live shows that we've had with Category 5 and New School Canes, this is the guy that, uh, yeah, Nick Saban flew down a helicopter down to recruit. Miami guy. He is a Miami hurricane. He's going to be there. Watch out for him. And he, this is a make-or-break thing. If we get destroyed versus Gervin Hall's coverage, it's, it's going to be a long day for us Canes fans. But this guy can make that elite play, that turnover, to cause us to win the game, watch out for him. He's an impact player. He's got to get it down. Number two, we can't overlook this one at all. In fact, this may be the most important player. It's Zion Nelson. That offensive line, especially at left tackle versus Florida's, which we know is also a great defensive front, has got to get it down. Jaron Williams, as an inexperienced from a game perspective quarterback, has got to have an elite front in front of him. He's got to have those guys doing their position perfectly as much as they can. We know there's going to be mistakes, though. We know there's going to be, well, If Zion Nelson does his best effort and just gives him half a second, a second, doesn't blow up his assignment, Jaron Williams will have enough time to throw a perfect dime ball to any of his playmakers or scramble out without getting a sack or throwing the ball away where it's not in danger. It, it's going to be huge. Zion Nelson's play is really going to affect the whole offense, going to the quarterback and extending from up there. Watch out for Zion Nelson, freshman guy. He's got to get it together. He's really changed his body in the offseason. So um, for him to get the start nod, it's going to be big. Make sure if you're wondering what's going on with the offense, if Zion Nelson has it together, that's why we're doing great. If not, it's the offensive line falling apart. But I have full confidence in him, and I can't wait to see him. So Miami guys, circle that one right there. Last but not least at all, KJ Osborne. Now, I know there's been huge hype. I mean, this is the guy that went to ACC Media Days and represented us, even though he hasn't played a snap of Miami football yet. But highly touted coming out of Buffalo, but as a recruit, only a two-star. But at Buffalo, uh, yeah, this guy had 900 yards. Um, good for seven touchdowns for the season, I believe, which that's about a touchdown every other game. And it's pretty darn good for a wide receiver, okay? This guy has been solid in all of our scrimmages. Everyone on the team has been lauding him. He's got the starting nod already. We know he's going to be an impact. But the reason I'm saying circle him is more so actually on special teams. This guy is there on special teams, and he did those at Buffalo. Special teams, I, I said in that previous video, if you haven't checked it out, link down below. Um, it's going to be very big. KG Osborne is going to have that potential on both wide receiver and special teams. I think he's his sure hand are going to help the offense move along. If he gets his assignments down and ready and gets explodes for one tackle, just breaks one tackle, and gets extra yards or a touchdown, it's going to be a momentum changer 
not to mention a punt return for a touchdown or a kick return for a touchdown. He's got that potential. He's got that ability. These are the guys that I put down. If you think I'm missing someone or you have your own thoughts, drop it down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Be sure to subscribe. Guys, Dan Day, we know it's always all about the you.